particular mother hip today we will talk about perineal anatomy along with the degrees of perineal tears so first of all let us discuss the anatomy of perineum the perineal body or the perineal central tendon is a wedge shaped fibromuscular mass that is formed by the convergence of several muscles and those muscles include first of all the bulbospongiosis secondly transverse perineal muscles which may be superficial or deep thirdly the levator ani muscle fourthly external anal sphincter and the last one pubo rectalis now it's very important to know where it is the perineal tendon lie the perineal tendon lies between anal canal and the lower end of vagina in this diagram the yellow structure is perineal body the red structure indicates ischiocavernous muscle the green structure shows bulbospongiosis muscles and the blue structure indicate the transverse perineal muscles now what is the role of perineal tendon the perineal tendon gives support to the posterior wall of vagina let us talk about the degrees of perineal tear the obstetric perineal lacerations are classified as first to fourth degree depending on their depth let us talk about the first degree perineal tear the first degree perineal tear involves the perineal skin and vaginal epithelium only often times it doesn't require stitches but even though first degree uh, tears are the least invasive tears women can still experience the pelvic floor symptoms like pain leaks and vaginal heaviness so we need to advise the cysts bath and the antiseptic creams for the local application next come the second degree perineal tear in second degree perineal tear there is involvement of fascia and muscles for example in case of episiotomy in cn episiotomy in cn is also an intentional second degree perineal tear so it's important to note that second degree lacerations do not extend to the anal sphincters they only involve the muscles the physicians usually use stitches to repair second degree perineal tear and another important point is that this type of tear takes a bit longer to heal than the first degree tears so we need proper stitches for the alignment of the structure and for the healing coming to the third degree perineal tear in third degree perineal tear there is transaction of the anal sphincters the third degree perineal tear is further divided into three divisions first is 3a in which less than 50% of external anal sphincter thickness is torn and the next is 3b in which more than 50% of external sphincter thickness is torn in 3b in 3c both external and internal anal sphincters are torn coming to the fourth degree perineal tear when the rectal mucosa is also involved in perineal tear that is called the fourth degree perineal tear and fourth degree perineal tears are often repaired in operating room with anesthesia and it is important to repair the anal sphincter as well to limit the risk of anal incontinence which means the leaking of the gas and the feces etc so that was short video about the degrees of perineal tears along with a little bit about the perineal anatomy i would like to complete my presentation with this quote never doubt yourself whatever we believe about ourselves and our ability comes true for us thank you so much i wish you all the best allah hafiz